First step is to look at the P wave. If the P wave is messed up, the only two diagnoses that the USMLE will go for is AFib or A-flutter. Obviously, a very high yield topic for IM is going to be myocardial infarctions, STEMI and STEMI, or even unstable angina. And so the next thing that I look at is ST segment, especially if they give me the full EKG, I actually want to make sure that I don't see any ST elevations because this question may be then a heart attack question where they're having you look at the leads, the ST segment elevations, and then the coronary distribution. After P wave ST segments, I look at the QRS, whether it's narrow or whether it's wide. And then if I see grouped beatings where I see PQRS, PQRS, P, PQRS, I know that grouped beatings on a rhythm strip is going to mean that I'm dealing with heart block as my likely diagnosis.